Hello and welcome. Today I'll be going over the Vampire's Kiss Castle and giving some commentary and a tour, of course. Can't have a new castle without a tour. Now this castle isn't exactly very new at the time I'm recording this. Uh, this was actually last month's castle and uh, the theme behind this castle is that it's supposed to be a romantic getaway for vampires. I went through a lot of steps to try and fulfill that fantasy. Um, mostly with the overuse of roses and a lot of uh, really scenic um, balconies and things like that for the guests to be in. When, uh, well, the most notable ones being this one and this one, which face the water. Uh, I really like how there's a water fountain, sorry, not water fountain, a uh, waterfall here and one here. It really creates this nice little scenic area right here. And it also helps that you can go fishing if you really wanted to. If I fly up above and through the castle, you can see uh, very different environments here. One of them being just like filled with lots of shrubbery, whereas like the other ones are a little bit more organized and uh, planned out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the front of the castle here and I'm going to go down and we're going to take a look. So yeah, let's get right in here. As you can see, I have some statues kind of greeting people at the entrance. Uh, technically, you could also enter through this part of the castle. Um, this is where I keep the teleporter. It has its own little room. We have um, two different kind of elevator types th type of uh, teleporters in a way. So this one will take you to the third floor near the center of the castle. And this one will take you well, will take me to my coffin, which I have here. So this is like my own private coffin. This is my own private room within the estate, but everywhere else is basically either a suite or someone, some, uh, some other vampire or it's, you know, servant rooms or something like that. So I tried to create kind of, like I said, a romantic getaway castle. In this room, we have, you know, the servant room. So we have coffins in here just to store them. We have another one on this side here. Most of the um, servant rooms, well, the majority of coffins are actually on the first floor. The reason why I decided to do that is because I knew that on the second and third floor, because, you know, there's more height from the ground, there'd be more opportunities for uh, visual um, variety, if that makes sense. So if you notice on the columns here, I also have lots of... Um, these castle wall uh, vegetations kind of placed throughout the castle. I really, really went heavy on the castle wall decorations. Uh, well, the, the the flowers, at least. I mean, I have so many roses at this castle. I haven't actually counted them, but if I had to take a guess, I would say I might have maybe... I don't know, maybe like 150 at least, I want to say. The number might actually be higher. Um, but if I had to take a, a, a wild guess, I'd say maybe about 150 roses. Maybe one of these days I'll go in and actually count them. Uh, I'm not going to do that right now, but uh, yeah, there, there's a lot. Uh, maybe, maybe 200 roses, actually, because I, I forgot I also put roses in this area. So this area here is more like a, a nice little outdoor uh, chill zone in a way where you can see we have a bunch of pine trees. So I try to use uh, trees that are native to the area just to kind of fit into uh, the environment more naturally. Um, again, I want this castle to feel like some kind of getaway uh, castle. So I wanted to have lots of nature elements as well as um, flowers uh, well, notably roses, just to kind of create, um, you know, the feeling or the s symbolism of things like romance and and love and things like that. So here with this uh, gargoyle, we have, and you'll notice this is a theme throughout the castle. Uh, I have a bunch of flowers just kind of around um, the different um, statues and stuff because I, I wanted them to kind of pop against the marble statues. So if you notice, all the statues are white. Um, so I, you know, have that contrast. The only, the only ones that aren't are these two right here. Um, I just decided to kind of change it up a little bit here in this room because we have a lot of interesting things going on. So I'm gonna 
I'm gonna kind of um, go through them slowly. So if I go through here, we have probably one of my favorite areas of this castle where you can kind of go outside and you see a raw uh, setup here. I mean, you have different types of coffins. So you have coffins here that are, you know, wooden. So they go on the ground and it just looks so natural against the flooring and everything else. Now, when it comes to the floor area and stuff like that into this castle, I didn't actually uh, plant any green grass tiles here because I wanted this area to look as natural as it possibly could. So even if I cut down these trees, they're just going to grow back in a similar fashion. Same thing with you know the rocks and stuff this is all wild and i wanted to create you know an area of the castle that maybe wasn't so perfect and instead had more of a um character to it so you could also put your horses in here so if you happen to come by horse you can just put your horse there and then you can take a you know take your vacation and if you ever want to check on your horse you can just stand on you know maybe one of these balconies or something else and you'll be able to see that from there so if we go back to the first floor, I'm going to show you guys a nice little, probably another one of my favorite areas of the castle. This little uh, park bench kind of area where I have like the lights and stuff. It's a shame we can't sit yet. Um, that's coming in 1.0, but I think that uh, this is definitely something that's really, I mean, it took me a while to make this and, and just kind of figure out exactly what I wanted. I did use the um, glitching, uh, sorry, the flower elevation glitch on these planters. So the flowers definitely look really nice on top of the swirly uh, tops. So in a way, this planter has like two different uh, types of shrubbery <laughs> i guess you could say um but yeah this this little area here is just super nice super neat it's it's small but it's like it kind of has like a nice cozy uh feel to it i did the same thing here with the flowers i mean admittedly i could have gone further with the flowers but i thought this was enough especially with the castle wall vegetation on that end and we also have flowers around the castle heart. I decided to go with red in this area just to kind of symbolize, hey, uh, this is the castle heart. This is where, you know, the blood goes or the essence goes. I'm going to switch over to my wolf form and start heading upstairs to show you guys kind of uh, some of the other stuff I've been wanting to show you. So if I go up to the second floor, now we're in a suite. Uh, this is like... I guess maybe not so much a suite. This is more like a uh, just kind of a lounge area where you have the fireplace, you have the different types of couches. Sorry. Yeah, it's not it's not a suite. This is more of a lounge on my bad. But um, yeah. And then if you head out, you, let's say you want to get some fresh air, you head out here and look, you can look downstairs and see that little bench area. I wanted to create a lot of um, a lot of areas where you could just kind of sit out and look and it just has like a beautiful view. Um, it's kind of, I, I would say that some of the inspiration I've gotten for trying, well, at least making this castle with lots of areas to look down from, uh, it kind of reminds me a little bit of uh, malls. So I haven't been to a mall in like a long ass time, but uh, this does definitely have um, mall vibes in the sense that you can look down from a height. You know, if you walk around, let's say you go up the stairs and you look down, you just see a bunch of people walking around. That's the kind of idea that I wanted to create uh, or the same kind of feel of, hey, this castle has people in it, but they're all on vacation. They're chilling. Um, this is a suite. This is like a basic suite. So um, if two vampires wanted to chill together, but you know, maybe they're just chilling for a little bit and they want to take a nap. They could definitely do that there. Um, yeah. And like I said, there, there's lots of really cool areas in this castle where you could just kind of look around and it's pretty neat. So I'm going to show you guys this other area here. I'm going to go down this hallway and you can actually see up over a balcony here. Uh, sorry, over the balcony, you can see the downstairs. It's like kind of like a little uh chill out zone as i like to call it where you can just sit and relax and get a nice view you can see all the uh wildlife and all the plant life and all that from afar um 
you also have, uh, well, actually on the second floor, something else I, I meant to mention is that from inside this area, like downstairs where you have all these like plants and stuff, uh, with this outdoorsy area, I made sure to use windows that would open and close or that you can open and close. Cause I, I wanted to have a little bit of like visual variety so that, you know, if someone wanted to close the windows, you really could. Not that sun is really going to get to you here, but it's whatever, right? And I think it creates kind of like a more cozy feel in a way because you're using wood against uh, marble, which is kind of weird. Um, so I think having the castle wall vegetation was a good way to balance that out. And also, if you notice the wallpapers I used on the first floor, uh, you have white walls with black pillars on the second floor. You have, uh, black walls with white pillars. And then on the third floor, you have white walls with black pillars again. So I kind of did like a black and white kind of, um, castle theme as the base and i used dashes of or splashes of red and other colors you if you also notice i also changed the colors of the windows depending on what tile they're next to so for example uh here i used the taylor's carpet like if you look underneath i used the taylor's carpet and uh this carpet uh, you know, being red, I said, okay, we're going to go with red curtains. And then the glass was, uh, the see-through stuff. Right. But on this side, there is no red on the, uh, the square. So I used white curtains and I used red windows. So I kind of experimented a little bit going back and forth between the different types of windows versus, uh, curtain combinations. And I gotta say, I'm pretty happy with what I uh, ended up with here. I also really like this little area here because it gives you kind of a, a another like cozy area to just sit down and relax. There's a lot of lounges in this particular castle. Um, but I think it kind of fits you know, the idea behind what I was trying to do, um, when I was building it. So I think, uh, we kind of succeeded. And, uh, yeah, if we go this way, we have, uh, we're back at, um, the lounge. So the initial lounge, I mean, so what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to fly up and go to the third floor. I'm going to start off right over trying to find oh here we go right here so remember this is the yellow uh the yellow teleport pad so what i'm going to do is i'm actually going to go around and then i'm going to come back to this room so uh we have a lot of stuff going on on the balconies here lots of flowers i did the glitching flowers trick for these three uh, sorry these five and then uh every pretty much anything else i could fit throughout uh, the archways were kind of a last minute decision. Um, at first I wasn't going to have archways. It was just going to be flowers, but I felt like it was a little too redundant compared to the rest of the castle. And I wanted to change it up a little bit. So that's when I added the archways. And honestly, I think that was a really good call, um, just based on how things ended up. This is another area where you can just kind of sit and chill. You could have like a lounge area. I was considering maybe putting some bookcases or something here, but I mean, I, it, that's kind of, you know, whatever. Like I have a bookcase here. Um, this hallway area doesn't really lead to anything except for, you know, kind of like an exit this way or an exit that way. Um, so there's only so much you can really get out of that. If I head this way and I go throughout here there's another uh servant uh quarters here and then you also have two little uh storage cases which is kind of neat i guess um you have more storage cases here i decided to go with the the narrow bookshelves on the left and right on this side and i wanted it to be uh somewhat uncentered just to balance out the flower in the center here so that it was like the equal distance no matter what so even if i walk this way it doesn't look weird it just looks even so that was something that i i kind of visually like consciously decided to do i also have this uh clock here which i absolutely love very very cute little clock 
Um, but yeah, I, ha I have a little bit of decorating going on over there, as you guys can tell. Here we have probably uh, one of my favorite balconies. Uh, this one is a lot different than the other ones in the sense that there's two chairs at each table. So if you want to sit at a table and have a conversation with a friend, maybe a drink or something, you can chill and relax, which is also really, really nice. Um, if we head this way, if you notice in this castle, I actually used banners. I don't, I almost never use banners on my pillars, but I felt like we needed something a little bit different here. Um, I didn't think that the hanging lights made sense in this area, just because if you're looking over the balcony, I, I felt like, well, visually your eyes are going to be up here, not really over here. And I thought that it just kind of looked better from above. Um, and honestly, I think that was a good call too. It, it doesn't, it doesn't seem to look too bad. So I'm very, I'm very happy with how this turned out here. Um, I use the castle wall vegetation throughout the entire castle. You can literally see every single little part of here just covered in, in, uh, you know, uh, shrubbery and all that. Uh, and then of course we're back at that hallway that I told you it was just more of an exit. So I'm going to head back in this direction. This is another room that I thought was kind of cool to put together. This was probably one of my one of the hardest rooms for me to figure out what to do with because of the shape. Um, I knew for sure I needed places to put servant coffins, but I didn't want to create a situation where there was so much stuff you literally couldn't uh, navigate it. So that was that was kind of a big deal. And then here we have a nice little uh, table, something uh, I did here. This was actually the first castle where I started doing um, like the table uh, glitching like as a thing. Now, here's the thing. Technically, this table is not glitched with the flowers because the space under the table is not being considered like a like a solid thing. So unfortunately, the flowers did not glitch upward like I was hoping. Uh, I thought maybe I could create like a little um, bouquet kind of effect, but unfortunately, that was not the case. But because of the material that the table is made out of, it's kind of plausible that something could stick through. Um, I think next time though, I might just use the metal tables for something like this, uh, like I did in the uh, Bestie Castle, which you guys probably have also seen potentially. So yeah, it's just a little bit of a difference there. Um, I already went this way, so I'm gonna head this way. And I'm going to show you guys uh, the back way of this area. Now, something I really, really like about this castle is that you could just hear the waterfall. You know, this here, I mean, why wouldn't you want to sit here and just relax? And another thing, too, I put an oak tree here to create a little bit of sh uh, shade uh, to, you know, to increase to maximum comfort. I think this is like perhaps the only area in the castle where I actually planted cypress trees. Um, because I wanted to use native trees first, but I ended up using these, uh, other trees here in this area. So it, it was kind of, kind of worked out for the most part. I also put an oak tree here as well. Um, I use the, I think these are cobblestone pads. Uh, this is one of the garden pads. I can't, I can't quite remember, but this is one of the pads for the garden and I use it to make a perfect square and then I place the planter for the tree and everything else all just kind of came together. Um, something else too is that I have a few workstations at this castle. I almost never put workstations in my, uh, you know, des pure design castles, but I figured, you know, some people, they just can't relax. So maybe they want to craft while on vacation. Maybe they find joy in making the things that they love. You know, maybe they, uh, they want to improve their craft while they're away. So in a way, this is, this is a very relaxing, uh, environment, especially if you listen to the water from both the, uh, water fountain here and the water from the, um, the waterfall on the other side. So uh, here we have a lot of, you know, just kind of really cool um, workstations just set up in a way that looks very natural. Um, I decided not to uh, incorporate efficiency tiles. Now, what I mean by efficiency tiles is tiles that go with the respective workstations because that's not what this castle is about. I also, if you notice, I used the uh, corner uh, cobblestone padding here in order to create kind of like a an arrow kind of effect 
and I did the same thing here as well and I think it actually kind of looks pretty good. I think it creates a little bit of uh, interesting variety here visually and uh, yeah I really like how this turned out. So uh, yeah uh, the last place in this castle that we still need to show is this room right here. So this room right here is the room that leads right to this teleporter and when you walk around in here it's just really really cozy um at first when i first put this uh room together i had uh benches in this room that were supposed to be on the sides here going around but ultimately after adding servants i decided to just have one bench and then three servant coffins uh surrounding it so that you know there's ease of access for the servants so if i summon a servant uh, they can be walking around throughout the castle. Now, as far as the kind of servants I have, um, I didn't really distinguish between which, you know, what kind of, uh, servants I have. I just kind of added random servants, you know, honestly, like, I didn't really think too much of it. Um, but yeah, I, I decided to add that in just to kind of have a little bit of life to the castle, because I don't really like my castles being too empty. But yeah, I, I think overall, this was probably one of my better works when it comes to overall design. Uh, I think the hardest part about this castle was just the sheer number of flowers and the sheer amount of castle wall vegetation. I mean, if you're just designing, you know, and you put down, um, you know, let, let's say you just put down a castle wall, you put down your window, you put down whatever, I mean, Adding a curtain can only do so much, but I think that combining the curtains on the inside with the um, with the castle wall vegetation on the outside has done wonders for this castle. I really, really like how this came out. Um, but yeah, I think um, I think this is definitely one of my best works so far. Um, this is pr probably uh, I, I'm gonna say this was the castle that made me decide that going forward I'm only making three tier castles unless I have a reason not to. Um, part of the reason is because the game. Well, okay, so there's two reasons. One, the game doesn't really do well. The more um, floors you put, you're kind of you know risking the integrity of performance and things like that. And you're also uh, probably gonna see a lot more visual bugs. Whereas uh, if you stick to three, you don't really see that. But honestly, I can't imagine having a fourth floor to this castle because there's just so much stuff. It would literally take me like so long just to add in uh, like another floor because there's just so much to do here. There's so much uh, to look at. But yeah, you have, you know, just to summarize, you have some naturey areas where you can chill and relax like over here and over here um you got some areas where you can have a nice fancy dinner with your partner here 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 um i mean it's just kind of like you know a, a fancy getaway castle that's literally what it is um but yeah tell me what you guys think about this design um was there anything that you really liked was there anything you really hated and also, um, was there anything that you probably would have changed or done differently had you been the one to make this castle? Uh, also, uh, what about the location of the castle? So, um, you know, do, do you think I picked a really good location for this kind of thing? Or do you think that uh, there maybe could have been a better place over in Farbane Woods that maybe would have uh, been a better spot to look at? Uh, but yeah, uh, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. I know it took me forever to finally put it out, uh, but finally it's here and it's finally done. Um, before I go, I'd like to say, uh, for those of you who don't know, my name is Sholo Q. I'm a Sholo Eats Quaintly Reaper and Guide to the Underworld. I stream three times a week, usually on Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays at 5 o'clock p.m. PST on YouTube, Twitch, and Kick. Um, if you want to stop by and watch me play some V Rising, I usually play the game on Thursdays. So yeah, uh, feel free to like, share, follow, subscribe, or whatever you do, uh, depending on whatever platform you're watching this on. And I hope you have a wonderful day. As always, take care and show out.